Hi, we are an ordinary family trying to live an extraordinary life. Even though Barrier is our name, we never let anything get in our way. We are the Barriers, Andrew, Maggie, and Laura, a family who loves to explore new places and take on new challenges. Like any family, we are also a team, ready to take on the world. Spending our time outdoors, doing the things we love with friends and family is what we cherish most. There's no such thing as a stranger, just a friend we haven't met yet. Welcome to our adventure. So, welcome back to another episode. Um, today, we are going to do butternut squash. Love them. They're delicious, they're easy, and they last for a long time, especially if you have a cool, dark place like a garage or a basement you can kind of tuck them in the corner of at the end of the season they'll stay good for a couple of months if you don't have time to eat all of them right away um, we like to give them to friends and family it's just a fun thing to grow you get a lot out of it um, but yeah let's get started so for butternut squash the uh, easiest way to do it from what I have found is making a little little dirt mound So what we're gonna do is we are going to make a little mound of dirt. I might have to go get a shovel for it. Nah, we're good. We'll get that out of here. For butternut squash, it does help to have a lot of space for them. Um, they grow like crazy. They are a vine kind of plant. Um, but they will take over this whole garden in no time at all, which isn't terrible. It helps keep weeds down, but it can eat out other plants like carrots, block the sun. That's why I do them in a separate bed um, with a little wall around it. So I like to make a dirt mound, I don't know, like two feet wide, eight inches to a foot high maybe. Um, I like to pack it in a little bit so it lasts through the rain throughout the summer. Fisher, stop. Sorry if you heard a dog barking in the background. That's just our dog getting excited about the neighbor's dog. All right, once you have the sides all nice and packed in, you can um, grab your pack of butternut squash. That's a dull blade. Now what I like to do is push three holes down in to the top. Ooh, that one didn't, no, oh, there's a stick in there. That's why. We'll get those weeds out of there too. Butternut squash. Make your little mound about a foot high, two feet wide. I like to make three little holes and I like to put two seeds in each hole. Each hole is about an inch deep. You're gonna put a little dirt back on top. Just kind of pat it on there a little bit for each one. This way, if one doesn't grow up, then the other one will. Or if two grow up, then you just pull one out of the way and toss it. It's not the end of the world. Um, we have a hill next to our house with nothing on it. Well, trees on it, but nobody owns it. I throw the seeds over there, and sometimes I get lucky and things grow over the hill. Anyway, that's it for butternut squash. So let's move on and do a couple more of them. Just like anything else, as soon as you plant it, you would like to get some water on it, especially if the soil has been really dry. Um, luckily this week, 
It's supposed to rain most of the week, actually, so hopefully I will not have to come out here and water the plants. Mother Nature and God will do it themselves. But that's it for this week. Uh, please join me later, and we will hopefully get some other stuff planted on this half of the garden. All right. Fish, say bye.